What do you think is most likely tomorrow and in the weeks ahead? Haven't we seen this before? Central bankers being expected to um, save the world. Mm. Um, certainly a combination of fiscal and monetary policy at this stage would do a few things. It would calm nerves. It would mitigate the uh, downside risks. But is it really going to give a significant boost to growth that is going to be enough to offset this uh, negative shock? That's a little harder to see. The problem is that even if there is significant stimulus coming from both central banks and from fiscal policy, it's not obvious that businesses or consumers are going to go out and spend that money given all the uncertainty that's still lurking out there. Right. But so, certainly this will put a bottom on how bad things could get, and that is very important at this stage. The major debate right now is whether monetary policy is the right tool. Now, there are those who say, look, the, the neutral rate, let's just call it, you know, what the economy needs is the neutral rate has fallen, so therefore the Fed has to respond, and it doesn't really matter what the cause is. Uh, what would you say to those folks? And what about the idea that, look, maybe there could be something on the fiscal side uh, that could help improve the economy's prospects a little bit better? Now, monetary policy is a lot easier to implement. And the one beneficial effect it's definitely going to have is on financial markets. And we've already seen uh, some of that today. Fiscal policy, I think, is going to be much more effective it can, if it can be targeted. Many small businesses are hurting. They're going to have cash flow problems. Um, uh, consumers are going to be hurting. So if you can get money effectively into the hands of low-income consumers who have higher propensities to consume, if you can get it into the hands of small businesses, that's going to hurt. But is it really going to make up for a demand deficiency? Not quite. But certainly having monetary and fiscal policy work together and having a coordinated response about, uh, across countries, that is all going to help in terms of mitigating the damage. And like I said, that is really important at this stage where things could uh, spiral out of control if we don't see some action. Yeah, well, right now the markets are spiraling up. In fact, we just were on session highs. The Dow is up 805 points. But Steve Leisman, I want to quote that great poet warrior, Steve Leisman, back to Steve Leisman, which uh -oh. is you said something, I think it was last Friday. Is a rate cut going to make you feel safe going to no. a rock concert no. or getting on an airplane? No, it, w it will not. Um, but look, let's be clear about some of the things. And I think Ishwar is maybe, what's the word I'm looking for, unduly pessimistic in that if, you're, if your goal is that the stimulus should undo all of the damage, then I think your goal is set wrong. And, and if that's the goal, then certainly the stimulus will underperform. But let's say there's stimulus in place that keeps businesses that are good businesses that otherwise would not go out of business from, from being uh, called on their notes and their loans. Uh, let's say you have uh, uh, loans or stimulus out there that would keep other defaults or spirals from happening in markets. In that case, no, it doesn't undo it all. It doesn't cause people to not go to rock concerts or get on planes. But, I mean, I, what about certain like, certain businesses in the travel business, uh, Brian, which you're very familiar with, or the energy business that would otherwise go out of, they could potentially we go had a out of business. supposed to fly to Houston Sunday for a conference. I got if whacked. there's six no months of, 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 of a decline in demand, um, some of these businesses could go under, and there's a legitimate question as to whether or not there's a role for government to come in and say, you know what, let's put a floor under that. Let's stop that pain from happening that otherwise shouldn't happen. We're going to have to deal, as this war suggested, with perhaps dramatic declines in supply, dramatic declines in demand in certain businesses. But let the government come in and do two things. Put a floor under the damage, but also put another side to the trade because that's when markets get into trouble. Ishwar, can you address whether the Hong Kong approach would work uh, best or better here uh, with the idea of, you know, basically giving citizens about $1,000 in cash, giving them maybe $2,500 uh, off their income taxes, providing kind of electric uh, breaks in their electric bills and some business uh, breaks as well? You know, you said something very telling a moment ago, which is that monetary policy is easier than fiscal. Well, I, I wonder if that's why we keep coming back to a central yes. bank solution, even though, as Goldman and others and Steve have said, it might not be the most effective. I think um, um, to um, pursue Steve's point, um, the key question is how best to limit damage at this stage. Certainly the big supply disruptions, the uh, fall in demand cannot be fully counteracted, but maintaining people's confidence at this stage is very important. There are certainly small businesses that are going to fold if they don't have cash flow. There are consumers that are going to be in very precarious circumstances if uh, they don't have money in their pockets. 
So even if they're going to stash away some of the money they get from the government, I think seeing governments act in concert using all the elements mm -hmm. and uh, policy tools at their disposal is really important at this stage. It may not have a huge bang for the buck, but certainly it could prevent a much worse outcome, and it's really crucial at this stage. I add one quick thing, which is that Olivia Blanchard did a 180. Uh, he was the former IMF chief economist, and, and they found out that the multipliers to government assistance at a time when the global economy is in crisis are much higher than we thought they were. Hmm. And I think that's an important lesson. We thought that it was less effective. We found out afterwards it was more effective, more essential, had more bang for the buck than we initially thought. All right, Steve, thank you very much. And Ishwar Prasad, we appreciate it as well.